Welcome back to the channel guys. I've got some interesting news. Uh, today we got a lot going on and we're going to have some fun. We are unwrapping the Corvette, finally. It's a beautiful day here in Florida. It's nice and warm. So we're going to get to unwrapping the Corvette and later in the video we're going to talk about what's going on. Right now I'm just trying to get the brush off. So I'm going to go back around later and get all the little edges and stuff up under here. So we can jump. All right guys, so we got this half of the car unwrapped and uh, we're going to take a little break. Then we're going to hit the hood and the passenger side. But we're getting there. We got a lot of little stuff uh, like underneath lights and a lot of stuff that we got to take off and unwrap, but we'll get to that later. All right guys, so I dropped the ball and my phone storage is full, but it is many hours later and the car is red. We do have a few more spots that we got to do, like we got to loosen the bumper and we're going to pull these headlights anyway because we're going to be putting new lenses on there. We got to loosen the bumper and uh, get that wrap out from in between. We got some wrap in there, wrap behind that light. Uh, there's a lot of places where we have a little bit of wrap, you can see here too, but the car is red. Man, I actually missed the red. I didn't think I would, but it looks really pretty. So we're going to go for a little drive and I have got some news. I'm very excited about this. I just figured this out. We have had a service charging system error for months and months and months now. And I hope we don't get it. We'll see. Everything's going crazy because it's on camera, but no error. We'll see how long it lasts. We're going to go drive around and see, but I am pretty freaking stoked, guys. This error has been absolutely plaguing me. I mean, no matter what I did. This thing was saying service charging system, service charging system. And I'm like, it's serviced. I don't know what to do. My Optima blue top that was in the car died. Um, so I went and bought a EverStart battery for it. And that didn't fix my issue. And I was just freaking out. I didn't know what it could be. Um, I was getting ready to put a new alternator in the car. And I really didn't want to spend 300 bucks. I've been searching and searching and couldn't figure it out. But it turns out there's a fuse in the fuse box that is for the alternator and that fuse was popped so I replaced it and we are good to go. I am so freaking happy and excited because this issue has been plaguing me. All right, boys, so we just went for probably a 10 mile drive, 15 mile drive, no issues, no light, everything is happy on the car, makes me super happy. So the news for today's video, unfortunately, we are selling the Corvette, possibly. We have the Corvette listed up right now. Um, we've had a couple of different people interested, nobody really serious until one guy in Panama City Beach is super interested and he's gonna buy the car. If he doesn't, I'll be very surprised. We got the Corvette listed up. It's a heartbreaker, I know, but I've got a few reasons why I'm selling this car. So one, the AC doesn't work. It's got uh, bad blend door actuators underneath the dash, and I don't have the time or the money to replace them right now. I can't live without AC in this. It sounds stupid, but if I've got a $25,000 car and I have no AC, it makes me mad. I'd rather sell the car, take the money I get from it, buy something else, build it, and if I get something that doesn't have AC, like the bug, it doesn't have AC, that's fine. When I've got such a nice car that doesn't have AC, it really, really makes me mad. So that's one issue, I can't afford to fix it. The heads up display is broken, which is an easy fix, except you either have to pull the whole dash out or cut a vent, which I didn't want to cut. 
So basically you need to replace those together, the heads up display and the blend door actuators. So it's got its share of issues. That's some other small issues here and there. Um, I need to replace the headlight lenses. Don't know if you'll be able to see, but they are super micro fractured. So I've got new lenses. I'm gonna be pulling those off and apart soon. And I'm gonna be painting the insides black while I do that for the next owner. So the car is probably gonna be sold this week. We'll see. But right now, um, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna build next and what I'm gonna buy next. I love this car. This has been a dream car for me and I've been so grateful and excited and happy that I've been able to own this car. It's been amazing, but it's just time for something else. One big thing about this car that just is a deal breaker, honestly, is it's an automatic transmission. It's got the 6L80E automatic transmission and from the factory, it just has a terrible tune on it. It's horrible. I mean, I've almost wrecked this car a couple of times because I've stepped on it and it started to get sideways and then it's upshifted the tires have caught and then downshifted within a fraction of a second. And so it's caught, thrown me the other way and then broken loose again. And I fishtailed it and almost wrecked, almost pulled a Mustang. So the automatic transmission is just terrible. It's got paddle shifters and they're like, so like you hit the button and you wait like a second and a half. And so when I've been, you know, racing, messing around and having fun, I lay into it and you have to try and time. You have to hit the upshift on the paddle. You have to hit it at like, 5,500 RPMs and hope that it shifts before 62. And a lot of the time it doesn't and you sit there and you bang off the limiter and you hit the button, hit the button and it won't go and all of a sudden it grabs the gear and you lost the race and you look like a fool and you missed a gear in an automatic. It's horrible. So it's just a deal breaker on this car. And I know it sounds first world problems. It sounds so snobby, but I just don't like it. So I've looked into manual swaps for it, I know, but to do a manual swap is just out of the question expensive. I can't even afford to fix some of the issues on this car, let alone do a whole T56 or TR6060 swap into it. So I also really want to get something that I can kind of cut up and build and make my own. And unfortunately with this car, I just don't have the heart to do it because it's a wing and felter. I mean, I don't want to do too much to this car because I don't want to take away from the value and honestly from how cool it is being a Lingenfelter. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to get next. Um, I've got a few options in mind. Not sure what I'm going to go with. It really could go anywhere, but I've been thinking maybe a fifth gen Camaro if I can find one cheap enough. Um, the LS3 with the T56 combo or TR6060 combo. Be a really, really fun car. Or I'm thinking maybe a GTO like a 05 and up GTO, a six liter, just like this, with the manual transmission, obviously. Um, I might go with an F body, I don't know, but I know the next car I wanna build, I want it to be a manual and I'm gonna go turbo with it. I just, I love this car, the supercharger's amazing. There's so many great things about this car, but there's just enough expensive deal breakers that I can't stay with it. So, I know, it's sad, it breaks my heart, but, the Corvette is probably going to be gone this week. I will keep you guys updated. I'll let you know. But we unwrapped it for the next guy. I got to go through and detail it. But it's a beautiful car. And the next guy is going to love it. He's going to say he's going to use it for his daily. So it's going to get miles put on it. But it's just going to stay exactly how it is. He's not going to be modding it. The other issue with the 6L80 transmission is if I want to push more power through this car, the 6L80s at about 600 horse from what I've read just aren't reliable. Some will go for 100 passes, some will go for five passes. So I don't want to start doing cam springs, fuel mods, dumping money into this car for performance mods just to have my 6L80 die on me. And it's not a junkyard transmission. It's not something I can just go get on Facebook Marketplace. I have to either get another Corvette case transmission or I have to rebuild this one. And either way, that's going to be you know 2,500 bucks plus. So I can't push more power through this setup on a good conscience. I can't dump more money into it. I think I'm going to buy a cheaper car and do a lot of mods to it and have some fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's sad. This car has been a dream car for me, but I'm trying to be positive glass half full. I got to own my dream car, a C6 Corvette, learn what I liked and didn't like about it. This won't be my last C6. I'm going to be getting a manual c6 down the road that i can turn into a fun built car and not feel bad because the lingenfelter so 
I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity I've had to own this car. I love it. It has been an amazing opportunity, an amazing dream car to own, and I'm so grateful for it. But we're moving on to other interesting things. I can't say bigger and better things because I don't think I'm gonna have a supercharged Corvette anytime soon, but we're moving on to other fun builds and we'll be bringing more content to you guys. Update. <laughs> On the bobber build coming shortly, I recently started kind of a temporary part-time job. Well, it's kind of a full-time job, but it's temporary. And we're still trying to get S&M exterior pressure cleaning going. And so I just really don't have much time. Monday is my only free day and I've spent it all on the Corvette so far. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.